Today, I wanna share a hack that I found for creating branded or pretty affiliate links on Squarespace because I've been on the platform since 2016 and I had no idea I could do this. <laughs> so I'm really excited because this is not talked about enough. But before I dive into that, my name is Caitlin. I run Launch the Damn Thing. I am a graphic designer turned web designer turned educator. <laughs> so I know a thing or two and I like to share those tips with you on the YouTubes. So let's dive in. I'm going to try to make this tutorial super quick. <laughs> So what I'm actually working on right now is cleaning up and simplifying the blank template that I use for my client projects and creating that as a template that I can actually sell to you because then you won't have to build it yourself. <laughs> but one of the things that I wanted to put in here is something that I've recently learned. So let me back up a step. Um, something that has always bothered me about recent SEO trends is that the links, the URLs to popular pages are getting longer and more descriptive, and that's hard for me to remember. <laughs> so for example, if you go to my website and you go to my services page, that page slug is four words. I do not necessarily remember what those four words are because that's longer than I used to make it. It used to be backslash custom or backslash services. One word, easy to remember, don't have to figure out where the dashes are, spelling and all the things. So one way that I have simplified this and I do this with client sites is I go into the URL mappings area of Squarespace and I create a shortcut for the main pages so that I can keep custom as the shortcut to this page. And if I type it in, it'll automatically redirect to the proper URL slug. So I don't actually have to remember the full thing. But what I did not know is that this actually works for external URLs also. So as long as I'm creating the shortcut attached to my domain, I can point it to an external URL. And that is something that I did not realize Squarespace's URL mappings area could do which actually allows me to create free pretty links, so to speak, as the WordPress and show it users like to use <laughs> for my affiliate links. That way I have one place to manage when the affiliate link gets updated. But I remember just one thing, like launch the damn thing dot com slash SEO space. That is the shortcut to my actual external link, which is through SEO spaces platform. So how that works, once I actually have set it up, you would just type in my domain slash whatever the shortcut URL slug is, and it actually redirects you to my real affiliate link. <laughs> So let me show you how to set this up because I think this is super useful for a ton of different reasons. From this template site, which is the base that I'm going to be selling with all the structure kind of set up and ready to go, one of the things that I want to try to include, and I don't know if this is going to copy over, is the URL mappings area. So to find URL mappings, things are always changing in Squarespace. But I'll show you where it is right now. If you go and look there and it's not there later, they've changed some stuff. I'll show you how to get there regardless. So right now, as a recording, it's under settings and then developer tools, and then from developer tools, URL mapping. If you don't see it when you go to look for it, whenever you are watching this video, just press the question mark on your keyboard and that will bring up the settings search. And if you just type in URL mappings, you can click on it, it'll take you right to it. That's typically how I'm finding things these days because Squarespace has rearranged their menu five or 10 times in the past six to 12 months and I can't keep up anymore. <laughs> okay, so now that we're here, let me show you how this actually works. So the concept, they actually show you this down here at the bottom, but to be perfectly honest, when I first saw this, it made zero sense to me. So I hope that I can explain it to you in a way that will make sense to you and then it won't feel so uh, scary. <laughs> okay, so the first part in these little angled bracket carrot things is basically the placeholder for where you would put just the slug of the old URL. Uh, let's see, as an example, let's say you are trying to build out a services page and it needs four or five words to be descriptive. And when I tell you that this is a trend, um, this is something that's now recommended by SEO experts, 
not myself. I'm getting this information from like Henry Purchase of SEO Space. Uh, that tool will tell you that it wants the URL slugs to be descriptive four to six words. So four is on the short side. So let's say that the old URL slug is services. You do not have to type in the first part. In fact, I don't think it will accept it if you did. So anything after the .com or the .co or the .whatever. So slash services, that's the old slug. And if we look down here, they have space and then a dash and then another carrot <laughs> for the arrow and then another space. So we are going to finish typing that out, dash, uh, right facing carrot, I don't know, <laughs> and another space. Then if we look down again, they have the new URL and the redirect type. So the new one, let's say that we have made that custom Squarespace website design services. <laughs> Okay, now on the redirect type, let's just for the sake of argument, say most of these are going to be 301s. So just put 301 for now until you learn the difference. Um, to my knowledge, 301 is a permanent redirect and 302 is a temporary redirect. Um, so in my case, if I were doing this on my own website, I would intend for it to be permanent at least until I change my mind. So 301 would be the answer. Once you've entered that information, you click save. And now on this temporary website template thing, uh, if you did whatever the domain is .com slash services, it would redirect to whatever the domain .com slash custom Squarespace website design services <laughs> as the full URL. So that is how to make a quick and handy shortcut for things like contact slash contact, which could be contact Caitlin Deacle. So if you need something to be longer and more descriptive, but you know you can't remember that, this is what you would do. And these specifically, you'll notice, are all internal links. These are not external links, meaning that these exist on my website. This one doesn't technically exist, but that's the shortcut to something that does exist on my website, which is why I do not need the full URL for either of these. That said, if you are going to create a URL redirect for something that is external, you will need the full URL. So let's pretend that I want to do a redirect for SEO space. Now, because that doesn't exist on my website, I can't start with the slash, right? I need to start with HTTPS. So let's actually grab that full URL slug or that full URL from this tab where we opened it before paste the full thing right here. Notice this is the part of that URL that, that has the kind of referral reference to me as the um, referrer. <laughs> and then after that, I'm gonna put a 301 because in, for the time being, this is a permanent redirect. Now, if I typed in this domain.com slash SEO space, it would redirect to this totally different website and it would have the 301, which tells Google that this is permanent-ish. <laughs> okay, so that I'm gonna save. And if I go back to the website and change the site availability to password protected and give it a password. Now, if I copy this link and paste into a new one and add question mark equal sign no redirect it should not take me into the config or the back end of squarespace so from here if i search for seo space it should redirect me to <laughs> my affiliate link so that is the tip of the iceberg you can do a lot with this and I actually want to show you some of the instances where I've been using this lately. So I'm going to pull up my account really quick and give you a peek at the inside. Okay, so in launch the damn things URL redirects, you can see I have quite a lot of them. <laughs> Thankfully, they're numbered, so I don't have to count. Um, but we're talking about nearly 200. The bulk of these, however, are actually URL redirects from my old blog because I used to use the slug archives when I was back on 7.0 and on 7.1, I don't need that structure. So now it is 
uh, slash blog instead of slash archive. So a lot of these are pointing from the old URL. Also, you'll note that some of my older posts had bad URL structure, so no dashes. And I've been able to change that in some of these older ones. Uh, also some of the older ones that I have not changed. So I could come back in here and redirect to that anyway. So if I scroll back up here and get out of the blog section, you can't kind of label these sections, but you can add spaces in between them. So I gave it a couple of spaces between like the old blog post redirects, some of the newer ones, um, some shop related ones. And uh, this is actually pretty handy here. When I changed the shop URL and moved my shop out of Squarespace Commerce and into a portfolio collection, I had to change the URL redirect because it was no longer in the shop and it didn't have the shop slash product and then product URL slug anymore. So that was a great way to use the redirect to point it to the new one, which doesn't have that P in the middle of the URL anymore. So that's an option. You also have anything that was blog dash archives, moving to blog, reviews goes to testimonials. I used to have two different pages. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> so one now redirects to the only one that's left. I have several uh, shortcuts. One that goes to pricing calculator template. That's actually an old one. Now this is actually a double redirect. So I have slash prices on my website used to go to the template shop page since I've moved it into a portfolio collection so I can build my own sales pages for these things. Uh, I, that actually is a redirect, which is again redirected. So I do need to come in here and clean up some of this stuff. Let's see, slash community goes to slash club. So I had a different URL slug for that at one time. Um, I also have a bunch of affiliate links. So you can see my affiliate link. I can do launch the damn thing.com slash notion. Take note, by the way, if any of these are like, oh, I, I want to be able to like use her discount code or something like that. Um, I have no idea if all of these have a discount code, but you're welcome to try them. So launch the damn thing slash notion will get you my affiliate link for notion. Launch the damn thing slash term will get you my affiliate link for term again. That one does come with 10% off. I know Flowdesk will give you 50% off of your bill for the first year. So that's a really good discount program. Uh, that's launch the damn thing slash Flowdesk. Um, Descript Creative Law Shop. There's no uh, affiliate link for that one, but that will go to their website. And then you have to manually add the code launch 10 to your checkout process, but that'll give you 10% off. Um, I have one for ConvertKit, one for ClickUp, one for Bonsai, one for most of Coley's products, Dubsado, Thrivecart, SEO Space. So I have a lot you can see. I hope this gives you kind of an extra insight into what you can actually do with this tool because it's not just like I thought initially, just redirecting from a page that no longer exists in Squarespace to a page that does now exist in Squarespace, but with a different URL. It also works with the external URLs. <laughs> If you're like, hold the phone, Kaylin, who cares about this redirect bullshit that I don't and can't use yet? I don't know how to apply. <laughs> All I care about is I want my hands on that Squarespace template because you did a video. I'll put the link here about how to actually use that with your clients. And I haven't had it for sale but now I do. So if you want to get your hands on that template for yourself so that you can duplicate it and repeat the process for your clients and make the process of setting up the initial part of the website a little simpler, a little shorter, a little quicker, then you can get your hands on that in my shop, launchthedamthing.com slash shop. I'll be adding that to the shop this week. So you will be the first to get your hands on your own copy of my blank web designer template for clients. <laughs> One really smart question I was asked recently by a club member, she asked if the page had to still exist in Squarespace in order for the redirect to work. And the answer is no, because I mean, if you think about it, I'm no longer using uh, the archives page on my 7.0 website. I don't pay for that anymore. It's expired. It expired years ago. <laughs> the thing that it's redirecting from no longer has to actually exist in order for the redirect to work. 
only the thing it's going to has to exist. So if you're linking from slash archives to slash blog, archives no longer needs to exist, just the blog needs to exist in order for that redirect to function. So that was a really smart question. If you have other questions, pop them in the comments below. I'd love to know what you got out of this tutorial. I hope that it's made your day and made your affiliate marketing maybe a little bit easier and also your SEO journey a little bit easier too because I know that that really long URL slug thing has just been like the bane of my existence and I've been resisting it for so long because I thought I had to have slash custom dash Squarespace dash design services or whatever uh, but it turns out <laughs> Those URL redirects are really easy to do in Squarespace and you can create a shortcut. You don't have to use the full damn thing. So I hope that's made your life happier today. And that's all I have for this video. I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>